Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to cover the terms associated with connectors, domains, and blocks in Pointwise. Starting with a connector, let's go ahead and select this connector and go to Edit Curve to introduce our first term, which is a control point, shown here as little yellow squares along this particular curve. And control points define the shape of a curve. Next are nodes, as you see here, these little dots at the end of a connector, and that's exactly what those are. Those are the first and last control points of a connector. Next is a dimension. To illustrate that, I'm going to turn on the display of grid points because the number of grid points assigned to the connector, as you see here, each one of these dots, the total number of grid points assigned to that connector is that connector's dimension. Next are spacing constraints. Spacing constraints can be found at the ends of a connector and allow you to cluster grid points towards the connector's nodes, but they can also be found on the interior of a connector at breakpoints so you can provide additional control of the distribution along the connector itself and in the interior. Moving on to domains, we'd like to introduce the term called an edge. And starting with a structure domain, a structure domain consists of exactly four edges, each shown here in a different color. As long as the domain is dimensionally balanced, each edge can actually consist of multiple connectors. So for example, this particular edge actually consists of two connectors. There's one connector and there's two connectors. And the reason we can do that is because its opposing edge has the exact same number of points, so it's dimensionally balanced. An unstructured domain consists of at least one edge, but can consist of more than one edge, like this example. The outer edge denoted in blue and the inner edge denoted in orange create an unstructured domain with a hole. Moving on to blocks, the term we want to introduce here is a face. A structured block consists of exactly six faces, but just like structured domains, each face can actually consist of multiple domains so long as the block is dimensionally balanced. And this gives you additional control when defining your topology for multi-block structured meshing. And for an unstructured block, an unstructured block consists of at least one face but can consist of more like this example. We have an outer face here and an inner face denoting an object inside of this block. And those are the terms associated with connectors, domains, and blocks in Pointwise. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.